let's follow the steps recommended. Step 1, separate the constant term from the variable terms. Pag sinabing variable terms, literally, those are the terms with variables. Meron tayong quadratic term saka yung linear term. Kaya ang ibig sabihin lang ng step 1 ay ihiwalay yung constant term. No? So do that, we can apply addition property of equality by adding negative 10 on both sides of the equation. When you do that, mawawala na to. Diba? So separate na siya. Or, alternatively, we can apply transposition kasi mas madali yun. Nilipat na lang natin yung positive 10 sa right side ng equation. And remember, kapag naglipat ka ng uh, term, magpapalit siya ng sign. Kaya magkakaroon tayo dito ng x squared plus 8x tapos nilipat si positive 10 magiging equals negative 10 ang ating equation. Next is to divide both sides by the value of a. Obviously, ang value ng a dito ay 1. And as we all know, kapag dinivide mo ang isang number or expression ng 1, wala magiging effect. Kaya skip natin yung step number 2. Pero kung hindi yan 1, you have to do or you have to follow the recommended step. Next is step 3. Add the square of 1 half of the coefficient of the linear term. Kung ano daw yung linear term mo, kunin mo yung coefficient niya, yung number part. Tapos, apply mo tong uh, expression na to. You have to divide yung b mo by 2, yung nakuha mo, square natin. Let's try. So, what's our, what's the value of our coefficient of the linear term here? Answer? Ayan, 8. Sundan natin yun. Our b or the coefficient of the linear term is 8. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Tapos, square mo yan. That's 16. Anong gagawin sa 16? Ia-add natin on both sides of the equation. Kaya, mangyayari dyan, magiging x squared plus 8x plus 16. Tapos, yung kabilang side, negative 10 plus 16. Bakit both sides natin kailangan i-add? Kasi yun yung nasa steps. Hindi. Bukod doon, we are maintaining the law of equality. Na ang sabi, kung ano ang ginawa mo sa left side, yun din ang gawin mo sa right side. Okay? Now, yung step 3, kapag ginawa mo yan, kung mapapansin ninyo, magiging trinomial siya. Hindi lang basta trinomial, magiging isang perfect square trinomial. Diba? To check kung perfect, kung PST yan, kunin mo square root nito, x, square root niyan, 4, ipag-multiply yung dalawang yon 4 times x, 4x, tapos kapag dinoble mo, dapat lalabas yung linear term. Kapag lumabas yung linear term, PST yung trinomial. Since this one is a, P, a perfect square trinomial, pwede na natin siyang i-express as a square of a binomial. Kaya itong PST magiging x, the quantity of x plus 4 squared equals yung simplified form nito, 6. Ayan. This looks familiar, right? Kasi nga na-encounter natin yan sa extracting square roots method. Yan ay naka x squared equals k form na. Diba? Yung x dito ay itong buong, li itong buong uh, binomial na naka-square. Tapos yung k natin ay 6. Ano ibig sabihin yan? Magkakaroon tayo ng dalawang real roots or solutions. Ano yung next step? Next step is solve the resulting equ quadratic equation by extracting the square roots. So, apply natin yung extracting square roots method. Yung step 1 nga dun ay to, to rewrite the quadratic equation in x squared equals k. Yan ay naka x squared equals k form na. Kaya ang next step natin ay maglagay ng square root symbol on both sides. Tapos, this will be cancelled. Itong, itong square root symbol and the 2 here, yung exponent. Kaya magiging x plus 4 lang yan. Yung kabilang side naman, hindi siya perfect. Kaya ang gagawin natin, 
kukuhaan siya ng factors na yung isa ay perfect square. Meron bang factors ang 6 na perfect square bukod sa 1? Okay, wala na. Dahil wala na, kukopihin mo na lang siya. Sir, pero bakit, laging, bakit may positive or negative dyan? Di ba nga ang sabi ng property of x squared equals k, kapag si k ay positive, dalawang lalabas, and those two are always opposites of each other. Kaya yan ay positive or negative. Next step ay ililipat. Next step ay solve the resulting linear equations. Yan ay linear equation na lang dahil ang ating degree, yung highest exponent ay 1 na lang. To solve linear equations, ang goal lang natin ay maging mag-isa si linear term. Kaya lipat natin si 4, magiging x equals negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 6. Take note of that, naging plus or minus na yung basa ko dyan kasi nga yan ay naging operation na dahil may nauna sa kanya. Ngayon, para mas solve yan, napansin nyo naman, dalawa yung operation, kaya maghihiwalay yung dalawang yan. Magkakaroon tayo ng dalawang linear equations na magkahiwalay. So, paghiwalay natin sila, magiging x equals negative 4 plus the square root of 6 and the other one is x equals negative 4 this time minus the square root of 6. Anong next na gagawin? You simplify yung dalawang yan. What is negative 4 plus the square root of 6? Answer? Yan na. Correct. Dahil ang negative 4 at the square root of 6 ay magkaiba. Ito ay rational. Ito naman ay irrational. Or in short, kapag may nakita kang radical sa ka isang integer o sa ka ibang number, hindi sila pwedeng pagsamahin. Yan na yung final answer nun. So, the roots or solutions are negative 4 plus the square root of 6 and negative 4 minus the square root of 6. Sir, pwede po bang dito na ako tumigil sa answer na to? x equals negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 6? Yes, that's totally fine. Okay lang yun. Okay? Yung step 7 naman na check ay optional lang yan. Bakit optional? Kasi minsan, yung mga roots or solutions ay two terms. Kagaya nito, isang rational sa irrational. Kaya napakahirap na siyang i-check pa against dun sa given, given quadratic equation. Kaya ang gagawin natin, uh, just be confident on it kasi nga, ginawa mo naman yung steps. Sunod, we have x squared minus 6x plus 8 equals 0. Kung mapapansin niyo, this equation is factorable. Pero dahil ang topic natin ay by completing this way, papakita ko sa inyo na it also works when the given equation is factorable. So we have first step, separate the constant term from the variable term. Kaya yan ay magiging x squared minus 6x equals negative 8. Yung negative 8 ay galing sa 8 na naging negative dahil tinranspose natin. Next is to divide both sides by the value of a. Tulad kanina, ang a natin dito ay positive 1. Kaya walang effect yun kapag dinivide mo yung whole equation by 1. Kaya skip natin yan. Step 3. Add the square of 1 half of the coefficient of the linear term. Ang linear term natin ay ito. At ang coefficient niya ay negative 6. So apply natin tong principle na to. We have negative 6 divided by 2. That's negative 3. Negative 3 times itself or negative 3 squared, that gives us 9. So, tandaan na yun. Yung i-add natin dyan sa both sides ay laging positive. Kasi nga, <clears throat> we are looking for a perfect square trinomial. Perfect square trinomial. Kaya mga yari dyan magiging x squared minus 6x plus 9. And on the other side, magiging negative 8 plus 9. Next, ito ay isa ng perfect square trinomial. Dahil yan ay PST na, pwede natin gawin yung step 4. Ang step 4 ay express the left side of the equation as a square of a binomial. Ito ay magiging the quantity of x minus 3 squared equals yung pagkakombine natin itong dalawang to magiging positive 1. Nanggaling to sa saan? Square root ng first term, x. Kukopyahin yung operation. Ito naman ay ganun din. Kunin yung square root, 3. Next, ito ay naka x squared equals k form ulit tulad kanina. Kaya yung number 5, pwede natin gawin. 
solve this equation, the resulting equation, by extracting the square roots. Para mangyari yun, we need to uh, put square root symbols on both sides. Maka-cancel ng square root symbols sa yung 2. Kaya ang labas ay yung x minus 3 na lang. On the other hand, itong 1 ay perfect. Kaya ang paglabas niya, yung root niya ay 1. Ang square root ng 1 ay 1. Pero dahil ang k ay positive, magkakaroon niya ang dalawang roots. And those are opposites. Positive or negative 1. Next, lilipat natin si negative 3 para magkakasama yung mga constant terms. Kaya magiging x equals 3 plus 1. Paghiwalay natin yung dalawang equation. We have x equals 3 plus 1. At yung isa ay x equals 3 minus 1. Simplify. That is our x equals 4 and x equals 2. Ngayon, dahil pareho silang one term lang naman, di tulad kanina dalawang terms na isang rational at irrational, ito pwede natin i-check na mabilisan. Try natin. Uh, x squared means multiply mo yung 4 sa sarili niya. That gives us 16. Minus 6 times 4, that's 24. Yun ay constant term na, kaya pwede natin ituloy. Diba? Let's continue. 16 minus 24, that's negative 8. Negative 8 plus 8, 0. Yung left side natin ay 0. Yung right side ay 0 Then They are equal. That means, yung x equals 4 ay indeed a roots or solution of the given quadratic equation. Try naman natin when x is 2. When x is 2, ito ay magiging 4 dahil squared yan, kaya 4 minus 6x. Ito ay, ibig sabihin yan ay negative 6 times 2. That's negative 12. Tuloy natin, 4 minus 12, negative 4. Negative 4, sorry, 4 minus 12 is negative 8 plus 8. That's also 0, which is also equal to the other side. Kaya ito ay root or solution. Yan na ang ating final answers. Sunod, meron tayong 4x squared minus 5x equals 6. Step 1 ay separate yung constant term sa mga variable terms. Kaya we are lucky dahil nakahiwalay ng constant term. Next, ay divide both sides by the value of a. Kanina, uh, yung step 2 ay lagi lang nating ni-skip dahil nga yung a ay laging 1. This time, ang a natin ay 4. Kaya pag dinivide natin yan by 4, magkakaroon ng effect. Kaya we have to divide both sides by the value of a, which is 4. Isipin mo na lang na bawat term, i-divide mo by 4. So itong 4x squared, kapag dinivide mo ng 4, makakancel yung 4 dyan, may iiwan yung x squared. Yung negative 5 over x, pag dinivide mo ng 4, ganun pa rin siya. Equals, yung 6 divide mo rin ng 4, kaya magiging 6 over 4. At yun ay hindi pa naka-simplest form. Ang, ang simplest form nun ay 3 over 2. Kaya magkakaroon tayo ng ganyan sa next line natin. Sunod, I add the square of 1 half of the coefficient of the linear term. Paano ba gawin yan? Kunin mo yung linear term. Ito ay negative 5 over 4x. Ano yung coefficient? Yun yung number part. So, number part niyan ay negative 5 over 4. Kunin natin yung negative 5 over 4. Anong gagawin sa negative 5 over 4? Yan ay, sabi niya, square of 1 half of the coefficient. Kunin mo yung kalahati niyan. What is 1 half of negative 5 over 4? And that is like saying, what is 1 half times negative 5 over 4? Ganyan mo siya isipin. Kasi mas madali siyang isimplify. Okay, multiply mo yan. When you multiply fractions, Tandaan mo lang, numerator to numerator, tapos denominator to denominator. So you have 1 times negative 5 here, that's negative 5. Tapos, what is 2 times 4? 8. Kaya kahit mental math, kaya mong gawin yan. Okay? So yung 1 half ng coefficient ng linear term ay negative 5 over 8. Anong gagawin mo dyan? Sabi niya, square mo. Kaya square natin yan. Kapag square natin ng negative 5 over 8, ganun pa rin multiply mo yung numerator sa sarili niya, pati yung denominator sa sarili niya. Negative 5 times negative 5, 25. 8 times 8, 64. So, ito ang kailangan nating ma-add on both sides of the equation. Kaya magiging ganyan. 
Ano ang sunod na step? Ayun na. Express the left side of the equation as a square of a binomial. Tandaan nyo, yung pag ginawa mo yung step 1, 2, 3, yung trinomial na lilitaw dito ay laging PST. Kaya pwedeng laging gawing square of a binomial yan. Kaya pare-pareho lang ang step dito, magiging square of a binomial yan. Okay? So, magiging answer dyan. Ayun. Saan galing yan? Yun ay x squared. Square root yan. X. Tapos, kopyahin mo yung operation na nandito. Yun din na magiging operation dyan. Tapos, kunin mo rin yung square root nito. Kaya, meron kang 5 over 8 dyan. Next, kabila naman, we are to combine 3 over 2 and 25 over 64. Marami nahihirapan dito, pero ang gawin yung technique ay, tignan mo, dapat maging similar fraction sila. Maging pareho yung denominator. Tignan mo yung mas mababa. Gusto mo maging siyang 64. Anong gagawin mo sa 2 para maging 64? Hmm? Okay. Multiply mo ng 32. Is that correct? 2 times 32, 64. O ngayon, dahil minultiply mo ng 32 yung 2, kailangan i-multiply mo rin ng 32 yung numerator mo. Kung anong ginawa mo sa numerator at kung anong ginawa mo sa denominator, yun din ang gawin mo sa, sa numerator mo. So that is uh, 96. O ngayon, pareho na yung denominator natin, pareho ng 64. Pwede mo nang i-add yan. Okay, that's 121 over copy the denominator 64. Ngayon, kung hirap ka sa mental math na yan, no? kung gusto mo talagang gumamit ng, ng, ng scratch paper, okay lang yun. Next ay, yan ay naka x squared equals k form, kaya pwede mong apply ng square roots method. So, step 5, solve the result of quadratic equation by extracting the square roots. Maglalagay tayo ng square root symbol dyan. I-advance na natin, makakancel yung dalawang yon, yung radical symbol, saka yung 2. May iwan ay x minus 5 over 8. Yung kabilang side naman, square root niyan, ay dalawa. That's positive or negative, 11 over 8. Okay. Next step. Ah, wala tayong space. I-move natin ng konti dito. Yung negative 5 over 8, ililipat natin sa kabila. Magiging positive yon Kaya ang litaw, x equals 5 over 8 plus or minus 11 over 8. Ngayon, kapag dumating kayo sa puntong ganyan, pwede mo na i-simplify yan. Pwede mo na silang paghiwalayin. Pag pinaghiwalay yan, magkakaroon ka ng dalawang linear equations. Yung isa, addition. Yung isa, subtraction. Simplify natin pareho. Ito ay magiging 16 over 8. Yun ay negative 6 over 8. Final answer, 16 divided by 8 is 2. And the other one is negative 3 over 4. Now, check natin na mabilisan kasi nga, yun ay mga tigi isang term lang naman. Try natin when x is 2. When x is 2, ito ay magiging 4. Multiply mo ng 4, 16. Tapos, meron ka ng 16 doon. Sabi niya, negative 5 times 2, that's negative uh, 10. Magkakaroon dito ng negative 10. Yan ay 16 minus 10 na. 16 minus 10 ay 6. Na equal sa right side. Okay, kaya ito ay talagang root or solution ng given equation. Next, what if uh, x is negative 3 over 4? Will it satisfy the equation? Try natin. Negative 3 over 4 when squared gives us 9 over 16. Yung 9 over 16, mo multiply mo ng 4, so magiging uh, 9 over 4 yun. Okay? Yung 9 over 4, tuloy natin negative 5 times negative 3 over 4, that's positive 15 over 4. Ayan, simplify natin yan. Uh, similar fractions na sila, kaya pwedeng pagsamahin yan. 9 plus 15 is 24. Tapos kopyahin yung denominator. Over 4. 24 divided by 4 is 6. So, 6 yung left side, 6 din yung right side. Kaya tama din na yun ay sabihin natin roots or solution ng given equation. Okay. So, ganun siya. Kapowerful. Kahit na factorable o hindi factorable ang given equation, kaya niyang isolve. Thank you so much.